more great news smithsonian.com is investigating mud fossils uh, and the giants now the fairy circles quality have the same quality as human skin and they realize this and there's these fairy circles and they're all over the place now that is a human skin cell uh, or it's a skin cell of some creature now and they now are having a hard time dealing with this. It says they took satellite images of circles and a computer drew lines halfway between each pair of circles to designate the invisible boundaries, which like cell walls. The computer then counted how many neighbors surrounded each fairy circle. Other researchers had calculated skin cell neighbors several years ago. So they've known about this for quite some time and they just haven't been able to to allow themselves to think about it until I think they've started to see the mud fossils and realize this is facts. Now, the result were almost identical. The two of them are almost identical. So there's very, cell, very circles, identical to skin cells. Now it gets even better. It says the results were almost identical. Both the majority of fairy circles and majority of cells had six neighbors. Most of them had six. But the similarity gets even more. Some of them had more or less. The percentage of fairy circles, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine neighbors, is essentially the same as the skin cells. Then he says, I didn't expect it to be so close, Sinclair said. We spent a lot of time checking because it really looked too close. It looks too close because it is what it is, and it is skin cells. This is all over the earth. It's not something that they can deny any longer. That pattern goes deep into the underground in these salt flats. It's not just the surface. So they got a lot of explaining to do. This is the pattern of skin. Just exactly like what's on you and me. And it's the pattern of the earth. They even call all these patterns the foliations of the earth. And, that, and they are identical. Identical to creature tendons, skin, vascular, muscles, they're all identical. They even name them the same in some cases. Sinuous and iron, uh, bloodstone and kidney stone and um, all kinds of stuff that is, uh, it's, it's, it's what it is is what it is. It's time to deal with it. That's all there is. Creatures covered the entire earth. The entire earth is made of creatures. They had muscles that were look like this and when they petrified they look like this. All right, that's the earth. You're cutting it open for countertops. Those are the same cells that we just saw in both situations. It's muscle and it's also skin cells. That's the way, that's the way tissues separate. They separate and they have fascia around all those things. And they can move and that's how you have, you're flexible. Fully understood at Mud Fossil University. So, and we've been doing it six years. I've, I've been doing it six years. You know, I, I discovered mud fossils in 2012, uh, and, and they were giants, absolutely giants. I had DNA tested everything three years ago, and finally I had to open Mud Fossil University to get this understood. Now I have a, a, a guy, Adrian Husbands, very polished academic, going to be presenting in um, Asia and, and um, Europe. I'm hoping Asia will be first because they're more receptive to, to, to the reality of, of, um, of evidence. And I, I don't find any, um, any stomach for evidence in the uh, Western culture in six years. So I'm hoping um, that we'll, well, I know that it has to be accepted now because there is, it's, it's starting to be accepted. Smithsonian and then Harvard and, and Max Planck started to go, yeah, you're right about the mud. And, you know, it's, it's, it's coming. So I guess I'm just trying to change the world too fast. <laughs> but it seems like it's, it's, it should be looked at a little more by the people that claim to be teaching everybody what they should think. That's my, that's my rub. So we're going to see that that happens, all right? And, and you're part of this. So what you need to do is to make sure that everybody understands. Go to Mud Fossil University up on YouTube. Click the bell. Subscribe. Make sure that you don't miss this stuff. This is the new education. And the new education, by the way, is not being read a book and telling you, go home and read this, and if you come back and, and tell me what you read, I could say to the world, you're, you're smart, and then you go get a job. No, that is not education. Mud Fossil University is education. We post things, I, I say this is this is that and that, and somebody else says this and that and that and so forth, and before long you're getting tips on this and how about that and what did you think about this and what if we did this, and I get 30,000 people up there.
31,000. And it's doing a thousand a week or, or, or more now. So you got to get up there, but you got to get your friends. You got to get your relatives. Just mention to them. So you, you go up there, I'm telling you, it's going to hit like a sledgehammer. When Adrian gets out there and puts this in front of the academic committee and a uh, 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 population, they're going to see what they have to do. And then they're going to wake up to this because otherwise they're going to start to look absolutely terrible. As far as I'm concerned, they don't look real good right now after six years of not one single response from academia to all, all this evidence it's DNA and CAT scans and specimens they won't let me display them they won't let me show them they will not let me in the door so we're gonna change it and it starts today all right Mud Fossil University on YouTube my friends now it gets even more compelling this is underneath the Great Lakes this is salt these are layers of salt and these layers have these spots in them. You see that little red spot, that little red spot, that little red spot. You see what he's doing over here with this pick? He's picking out these black spots. That is blood. That is blood is also. This is the red blood. It's soft and it's not something that that hardens up hard like the black FeO2 blood. This is the O3 style blood. This is the O2 style blood and it gets hard and that's why they're picking it out. This is underneath the Great Lakes. This is salt from a creature's body. This was a creature's body. I believe the salt infestation happens from the kidneys. The kidneys leak natron. And that seems to invade tissues and turn them into salt. That's all I can say. And I lake natron. I did a deep investigation on that. That is all, that's a kidney. And it's from the bile duct sending down the stuff into the lake. And it uh, petrifies everything that goes in there from salt. It's, uh, and they used it in the ancient times to uh, mummify bodies. So, I, all I can say, and then, you know, there's so much that I have shown here that is being dismissed and just not even considered for the, the deep, deep impact on life that it has. I mean, you say, oh, well, I'd rather be walking around deluded. Well, maybe you would. So then just go somewhere else. But if you really want to know what life is about and what possibly, I mean, this, this may have an impact on eternity. I mean, obviously, these things were written about. We thought they were all silly. But, the, you know, well, you know, the Titans, Gaia, the Earth is constructed, literally constructed of creatures. I'm just going to tell you that for a fact. I have done a lot of work on it, six years of work on this. And if I'm wrong, pff, you're going to have to show me something because you cannot show me anything that can overcome the evidence that I have provided. Not a word from the scholars or the academics or the geologists to confront what I have presented. Not a single syllable. And it's time to start putting these people against the wall say look I want answers I want some answers from you people you're going out charging people literally hundreds of thousands of dollars to certify them as being intelligent you won't even take the, the time to look at this stuff is not right now finally the Smithsonian is at least starting but they're just sort of uh, running around the edges here take it by the handle look at it for what it is no more avoiding reality it's just not right See, and it's a fiduciary failure by academia. Absolutely. Very, very, very poor form. Very poor form. 